Good morning, Year One. This is Gopi here, and welcome to Wednesday's wonderful writing challenge. Today, I'm going to be challenging you to write a riddle. Have you ever heard of a riddle before? Have you ever done a riddle before or solved a riddle before? I'll tell you what a riddle is. A riddle is a piece of poetry that describes something, but you don't say what you're describing. You leave the reader, whoever's reading your riddle, to guess. So it's a bit like a guessing game. So I'm going to show you some riddles now. And I wonder if you can guess what the riddles, what the riddle is describing without me showing you. Shall we try it? Let's give it a go. OK, let's read this riddle and see if we can guess what it is describing. So it says, what am I? You see me more in summer. I am hot. I live in the sky. I am bright. Don't look straight at me. I disappear at night. What am I? Hmm. Do you think you know what it is describing? I think you might. See if you can guess. It is the sun. Did you guess that? Did you see how it didn't actually say it was the sun, it just gave you clues. So you've got to be a little bit of a detective. Let's look at the next one. So this one says, I'm usually green and brown. In the autumn, I sometimes change. When winter comes, I might be bare. I can live for a long time. I can be a home for a bird and sometimes people climb me. What am I? What do you think? I think I know this one. It is a tree. Did you say tree? Well done if you did. Okay, we've got another one. I have four thin legs. I cannot be kept as a pet. I can be found in the zoo or in the wild in Africa. I am yellow and brown. I have a blue tongue. I like to eat leaves. I have a very long neck. What am I? Oh, it looks like the last clue gave it away then. What do you think it is? It is a giraffe. Did you say giraffe? Well done if you did good detective skills. Last one. So this says, I can be different colours. I have four long legs. I have a long tail that can be brushed. I have large teeth. My feet make a clip clop sound. I'm strong enough to carry a person. What am I? See if you can guess what do you think it is? It is a horse. Did you guess that riddle as well? Well done. Okay, so now we're going to plan and write our own animal riddle. So I want you to choose an animal that you want your riddle to be about. And then we're going to make a mind map, jotting down all the ideas about what we know about that animal. You might want to think about what it looks like, what it likes, what it doesn't like, how does it move and where does it live. So let's have a go. I'll show you my plan. Let's go. So I decided I wanted my riddle to be about a cat. So in the middle of a bit of paper, I put the word cat and all around the outside, I just put down some quick ideas, just words about what a cat looks like, where it lives, things that it likes, things that it doesn't like. Now, it's only a quick plan, so it doesn't have to be in a full sentence, because when you write your riddle, you'll turn them into a full sentence then. So, before we start writing our riddle, let's remind ourselves of some of the things that we need to remember in our writing today. We need to remember to use finger spaces, capital letters, neat handwriting, phonics, full stops, Challenge yourself to use a question mark, conjunctions that I really, really want you to think today 
in your riddle, see if you can extend your sentence using the conjunction and. And last but not least, spelling. Now, most words can be spelt using our phonic skills, but some words are just too tricky. They're red words and they can't be sounded out. So see if you can spell your tricky words correctly. OK, we're ready to write our riddle now. I've kept my plan in front of me to remind me of the clues that I want to use. OK, I've got my piece of paper, my pen and I've got my sound strip. Now, when we write a riddle, we want to keep the easiest clues till the end and we want to put the trickiest clues first. So I think, oh, lots of animals are soft, so I might do that as my first clue. So I'm starting with I because we're writing in what's called the first person. We're writing as if we are the cat. So you're going to use words like I, me and my in your riddle today. So I am soft. 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 And my challenge today is to use the word and. I am soft. I think furry goes quite well with and I am soft and furry. I put my full stop. Now we normally tell you that if you've got space after the end of your sentence to keep on writing, but with a riddle you start a new line for each new clip. So I'm going to go on to my next line and say I have four legs and keep using a hand again to challenge myself pointy ears full stop remember to start a new line for a new clue my go on we'll do about the long tail my tail tail is long. Hmm, what else? What could my next clue be? Or oh, I might do about where they live. I live in a house. Hmm, how could I extend that? I live in a house. But I, oh, but I also go outside, but I also go outside. Now that I've finished my riddle, I'm going to end my riddle with the question what am I? And then on the next line I'm going to write I am a and on the bottom, the very bottom I'm going to write cat and then I'm going to fold it up so that you can't see the answer. And I'm going to go give it to my husband to see if he can guess what animal my riddle is describing. Do you think he'll be able to? Now it's your turn to write a riddle. I wonder what animal you'll choose. Okay, well done for all your hard work today, year one. I cannot wait to read your riddles. Don't tell me what they are. Post them in, com in the comments below and I'll see if I can guess.